What's up my dudes, thank you very much for tuning in, hope you guys have a most excellent day today. So as you guys may know, I will be hitting Confuzzle in a couple of days, having a most excellent time, getting drunk, partying for a good five days before going back to the office and dying at my desk. And I figured I would make a quick video for you guys, sharing five things you all need to remember to take to conventions to make sure they are the most excellent times ever. And a couple of these things may seem like common sense to you guys, but a few of them I've seen people forget time and again, and it really ruins the experience for them. So without any further ado, let's crack in at number five with your bloody phone charger. Now there's nothing worse than running out of power at a convention. You can't take photos, you can't check the schedule if it's all digital, you can't contact your mates, you can't really do anything because your phone's dead. And it's a real bummer. And the number of times I've seen people at conventions say, oh, I didn't bring my charger, do you have a USB-C charger? Or do you have an Apple charger? Or whatever. Hell, we've all been there when we're on road trips and we've forgotten the damn thing and we're nursing the power on the twat now just to get us home. And it's not going to destroy your convention, it's not going to absolutely ruin the experience, but it will make it more annoying. You won't have any photos to remember it by, you won't be able to contact your mates or anything like that. So please, all you all remember, Take that phone charger, stick it in your bag right now, ready for confuzzles. Coming in at number four is one that's very important to a lot of furries here in the UK, and that is the pre-game alcohol supplies. Now, as you guys may know, places like the Hilton and other convention hotels, they can be extortionate when it comes to the booze price. And I'm happy to pay that while chilling at the bar and you know, with friends and doing the whole socialising thing. But sometimes I want to get my merry on back in the room, you know, maybe I'm at a room party or whatever, or just have some friends back to the room just to chill. And for that, you are going to need the pre-game alcohol supplies. That's the booze that you drink before you go out to drink more booze. If anyone's not from the UK, it's kind of like a tradition over here to pre-game the main game and then have an after-game after-party. So yeah, all you guys swing by Asda, that's Walmart to you Americans, grab some booze, stick it in the fridge in the hotel room if you have one, and just let it chill, ready for the party. Coming in at number three is one that catches a lot of furries out, especially at Confuzzled, where they have a zero tolerance policy. And that is remembering to bring your damn ID. Now, for any of us that drive, that's not really an issue, because we often have our driver's licenses on us. But for those who don't drive or don't have ID or have just turned 18 or whatever, you all need to get this ready like weeks ago. You know, it's too late to try and do it now. If you don't have ID now, you are stuffed because Confuzzled have a zero tolerance policy when it comes to not having ID. They will check your ID and if you don't have it, you won't be getting in. Now back in 2016, my good partner Conifer, uh, they went to Confuzzled and they had an expired passport. And they got chewed out big time, saying, you know, this is the last year you're going to be able to get it on an expired passport. So don't think that's going to get you in either. It has to be in-date ID, otherwise Confuzzle will have a hefty fit, you're not getting in. And I can totally understand why, because, you know, with everything going on in this day and age, the last thing they need is a lawsuit because an underage person got in without ID and got into trouble or caused some trouble. So yeah, remember your damned ID, my dudes. Coming in at number two is your medications. Now, I know a lot of you guys may be on your prescribed medications for conditions, and that's understandable. Don't forget those. But a lot of people forget that, you know, you'll be running around for four or five days non-stop, often sweating your ass off in a fursuit. That is going to be hella taxing on the human body. So in addition to your regular meds, remember to bring a whole bunch of vitamins, some electrolytes, all that kind of, you know, Powerade. Bring some Powerade, bring anything to keep you hydrated. You know, you won't believe how much of a difference it can make. If you've done a two or three hour stint fursuiting, you've got a banging head, just swigging back a Powerade, maybe taking a couple of our paracetamol, Tylenol to you Americans, you know, just to chill your brain down after that. And not just for yourselves either. Often people around you may be suffering as well, and having that in your wallet or in your pocket just comes in real handy. So please remember, Bring meds, bring vitamins, bring Gatorade or Powerade or whatever just to recuperate after fursuiting. It is a lifesaver. We want to put as little work as possible on the Confuzzle First Aid Team. And if we can do that by preparing ourselves, go for it, my dudes. Now, before we get to the final point, if you guys want to support my channel, consider joining my Patreon. Uh, the link is down below. I have a bunch of most excellent patrons on there who get early access to my videos, see some of my artwork and progresses and art that I don't post publicly, and get to generally chill me on Patreon. Also, swing by my Discord, where there's some most excellent dudes just kind of chill out, hang out, share memes, share art, just shoot the breeze. 
Uh, it's a great place. I haven't been there in a couple of days, unfortunately, because I have been prepping for Confuzzle, helping Confer get all the supplies ready for a dealer's den table. And on that note, if you guys are at Confuzzle, consider swinging by table B40 in the dealer's den, where you will find Conifer's creations, the maker of my most excellent suit back in 2016, I believe it was. Um, they will be dealing there, they will be selling a brand new fursuit pre-made, as well as a whole bunch of other fursuit supplies that you may have forgotten on your prep for this con. So yeah, swing by the dealer's den, I might be there with Conifer, or I'll be running around if you want to find me. Look for the battle jacket, I'm almost always wearing it. But yeah, on to the final point of my five things that might help improve your con experience. And that is foot protection. So extra socks, plasters, foot care in general. Now this is coming to you from 20 years of furry con experience, as well as God knows how many years soldiering and working at a paintball site. Protecting your feet is key, especially when you're going to be spending 10 plus hours potentially on your feet constantly. Having good foot care is essential. Put some plasters in for when you get hot spots. Put some extra socks in just in case you need them. Don't let your socks get too sweaty and grim because that's going to cause some severe problems in itself. And please, for the love of God, don't try breaking in new shoes at a fur con. It will end badly. You will have blisters. You will be crying. The number of times I've seen people walk around a con like Clint Eastwood because they got new shoes on and didn't break them in first. Ah, uh, it's... Nah. Uh, you would not believe. So yeah, prioritize looking after your feet and your feet will look after you at the con. So yeah, those are five things you need to remember I think will help improve your con experience. If you have any more, please drop them in the comments below. These are just my five things. You may have your own that drop them in the comments below. I'm eager to read them as well as a lot of other people will be curious to see what you guys got to say. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. I'm really looking forward to Confuzzle. I'm looking forward to seeing a whole bunch of you dudes there too. If you do see me there, please come up and talk to me. I consider myself a very approachable dude and I will happily chill with anyone who wants to just have a chat, you know, chill out at the bar, whatever, have a couple of drinks. And like I said, if I'm not at the bar or first seating, you'll probably find me in the dealer's den with Conifer helping her run the table. Other than that though, I hope you guys have a most excellent day, an amazing week. I hope to see a whole bunch of you at Confuzzled. But until next time, take care, have a most excellent week, and I will see you in the next video, okay? Take care, ta!